Hey everybody, it's Robin over at Trinity Design Studios, and I wanted to talk to you today about the Stampamajig. I've heard from some of you that you're not real comfortable using this awesome stamp positioning tool, and I want to show you how easy this is to operate. I have been working on some graduation invitations for our bonus son, Andrew. He's graduating next month, and I'm using the Celebration Basics um, invitations that are actually on clearance right now. They're half price um, through Stampin' Up! until the end of the catalog. And the envelopes are this craft, and they're printed on craft. And I just did a little guitar thing um, for his theme because he really likes playing his guitar. But I want to show you how I've been putting the 2015 on the envelopes for these invitations, and it's super, super easy. Now, his favorite colors are red and black, so I'm doing red and black theme for his party, and I'm using Real Red ink pad, and I'm using the Class of 2015 stamp that's in the Occasions mini catalog, but for the envelope flap, I don't want the whole um, image on the envelope flap. I'm just going to use the 2015. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my stamp upside down, and I'm going to use a post-it note to mask off the part of the stamp that I don't want to ink up. Okay, so I'm just going to ink up the 2015 with my real red ink pad, just like that. And I'm taking my post-it note off and setting that aside. I'll put it right there. And all I'm going to do, I've got my imaging sheet, my plastic imaging sheet, and it's on the rough side. There's a smooth and a rough side. I've got it on the rough side, and I'm putting that in the corner of my stamp image jig all the way into this corner. And I'm just going to put the stamp right in the corner. Okay, stamp straight down and pick straight back up. So now my image is on the imaging sheet. Now the way that this works is you take the item that you want to stamp, in my case it's the envelope flap that I want to stamp. So I lay that flat on my work surface and I take my imaging sheet. Now if I really want this to be even, I'm just going to put this in between two measurements that I know are even. Hope y'all can see that. And I'm just going to line that up with the line in my grid paper. So that looks pretty darn straight to me just because I do like things to be perfect, especially when I'm making them for somebody else. For myself, I don't worry so much about it, but this is a really special occasion, and I want everything about this occasion for him to be perfect. So anyway, you saw what I did. I laid the image sheet down, and then I brought in the little corner piece. So I held this in place with my right hand, and you can do this if you're left-handed or right-handed. It doesn't matter which corner you use the stamp image jig on, as long as it's the corner that you're comfortable with. Because I'm right-handed, I like to put mine um, on the left-hand corner. So I've got my stamp image jig in the left-hand corner. I'm going to move the imaging sheet out of the way. I take my post-it note and cover up that class of 2015 again with the post-it note. Take my ink pad and ink up where I want the what, what part of the stamp I want to show. Take the post-it note off, and I've moved my imaging sheet out of the way, but I didn't move my corner piece. So all I'm going to do is go straight down and pick straight back up. And I've got a perfectly lined up um, 2015 on that envelope flap. So I hope that helps you a little bit with your Stampin' Majig and using your Stampin' Majig. It's really a super simple tool and it's something that everybody should own. So make sure if you don't own one that you go ahead and order one next time you place a Stampin' Up! order with me. Thanks for stopping by today and I hope to see you back here soon.